One race that could determine the balance of power in Congress is California's ninth congressional district. Yeah, that's the matchup between Democratic incumbent Josh Harder and Republican Mayor of Stockton, Kevin Lincoln. Both parties have poured money into this race because it could help determine which party controls the House. Neither responded to our request for a debate here at KCRA 3. They did, however, agree to do individual interviews. KCRA 3's Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala brings us her conversation with Lincoln. The issue that is at the top of Californians' minds, and that is the cost of living and the cost of really everything. If you're elected to Congress, what will you push for to bring down those prices and those costs? The American people are struggling right now, and the people in California's 9th Congressional District are, are really hurting financially. Um, and it's absolutely important to support and push for legislation that, at the federal level um, that's going to uh, reduce uh, the amount of inflation that we're dealing with right now, uh, lower the cost of living, and put money back into the pockets of the hardworking American people. The housing and homelessness crisis in, in the state where do you see Congress and the federal government having a role there? So going to Washington, D.C., we need to figure out ways you know, to make sure that we lower the cost of the living. I mean, construction costs, everything is just through the roof right now, and it's a result of, of, of poor policies. And so we need to make sure that we are expanding our housing voucher programs, uh, but we also need to make sure that you know, we're providing incentives so that we can build more houses for the, for the hardworking people as well. The people are dealing with burdensome regulations right now. And so we need to look at ways that uh, we can ease those burdens and, and reduce the regulatory environment at the federal level. Um, and we need to make sure that we put pressure on the state level as well, uh, because it's tough living in California. It's tough to build a home in California. It's tough to afford rent in California. Immigration is another big issue for California voters. President Donald Trump has promoted this idea of doing mass deportations that could impact, I mean, really a chunk of your district that is known for its agriculture. I mean, is that something that you would support or be on board with? So we have to protect and secure our borders for the matter of public health and public safety. And, and what's happening at the borders, or our open border right now, it's making it difficult for those who are going through uh, the immigration process the right way. And, and it's unfair and it's unacceptable. And as a nation, we have to do better. And our immigration policy as a nation should not be solely dependent on who's in office. But on deportations of people who were already settled here, in the San Joaquin Valley, is that something that you would be okay with? Families shouldn't have to be torn away from one another, but if you're in this country illegally, uh, you know, then you shouldn't be here and we have to send you back to your country and then you need to come back the, the right way. Because what's happening right now is that there's a, a public safety aspect of, of the impact that's been happening at our borders right now, specifically re related to uh, crime throughout the nation, and, and that's not okay. Would you support a national abortion ban if Congress were to try to move one forward? My statement has always been clear and consistent from the very beginning. I'm not going to Washington to support a federal abortion ban. What would be your first initiative or move or push as a congressman? What's important is to make sure that we're crossing party lines and we're taking a bipartisan approach to legislation. Um, and it's important that uh, as a local representative in California that I reach out uh, to my neighboring congressional representatives as well um, and identify ways that we can work together. When people think about Washington right now, they think about partisanship, they think about blame and, and, and division. Um, and as a representative, uh, I'm, I'm committed uh, to, to doing my part to, to change that. We reached out to both you and current Congressman Harder for a debate because the National Republican Committee, the DCCC, they have poured money into your race to have ads air. We tried to get you guys to do a televised debate. Neither one of you responded. Why not debate? Well, I've debated 
Congressman Josh Harder on a couple of occasions already, and there's been a couple of debates that he's backed out of himself. And because he's backed out of them, I haven't, I wasn't able to participate, but I still showed up and engaged and was present with the voters. One thing that you're going to get with me is you're going to get a person and an elected official or representative that's accessible, um, that's authentic. Um, and that's going to tell you the truth. Whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, uh, we're here to represent the people of California and ultimately make policy decisions that are in the best interest of, of the American people. And Ashley sat down with Congressman Harder last week. You can find that conversation on our website, kcra.com.